All right, y'all, yesterday we did interior defense. Today we're gonna go over perimeter defense and the interceptor badge. I searched far and wide trying to find a player in the NBA today that has the interceptor badge at Hall of Fame. The reason why is because when I put interceptor on Hall of Fame on my lockdown build, I didn't notice much of a difference between a low level like bronze or silver and then maxing it out to Hall of Fame. On my 6'6 lockdown build, I felt like it was a waste of badge points, so I took to the rock and try to find some of the best defensive players to see if they had interceptor at a super high level. The reasons why I do this is because we could get a better understanding of what 2K thinks of badges and how the 2K development team feels about particular attributes. The leading defensive players and defensive players of the year has moved to the perimeter. So I would think badges like interceptor at Hall of Fame will definitely be allocated to some of the best perimeter defenders. But throughout my search in today's rosters, I couldn't find one player with interceptor on Hall of Fame. So does that mean that you guys may be wasting badge points putting interceptor at hall of fame we got bridges up on the screen in the background and you can see the max the highest that he has interceptor is at the gold level we looked at marcus smart and his interceptor badge level is at bronze we took a look at pat bev he doesn't even have interceptor on his player let's check out lebron james and see what he has he has interceptor at the silver level and for those of you guys thinking well maybe that doesn't mean much maybe 2k just didn't allocate the badges accordingly maybe they just don't even focus too much on allocating defensive badges properly as far as the rosters are concerned so we went back in time and we pulled up gary payton and the reason why i did this is because i wanted to see if 2k understood perimeter defense gary payton a well-known all-time defender we pull up his badges and go on over to defense and instantly we see interceptor on hall of fame i had to go into the all-time teams in order to find a player that has purple interceptor but you can see his lineup of purple badges means that it's noticeable that 2k understands perimeter defenders and will indeed allocate those badges accordingly i continue my search in today's rosters to see if 2k got it right with any defender checking out jimmy butler i went on over to defense and you can see he has gold badges doesn't even have a purple badge as far as perimeter defense is concerned doesn't even have a purple badge on his defense at all interceptor maxes out at the gold level for jimmy butler we checked out Kawhi leonard to see if 2k maybe gave Kawhi a purple interceptor badge the only purple badge that Kawhi has is menace at hall of fame and his interceptor badge maxes out at gold which seems to be the ongoing theme in regards to how the 2K devs see perimeter defense passing lane type of steals on NBA 2K23 for players in today's rosters. And universally throughout my search, even if players had like an A plus rating like you're seeing on screen in regards to Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, let's check out Paul George real quick. The A plus perimeter defensive rating and his defensive badges don't even necessarily match up to that type of rating. You see Kawhi had an A plus rating he had gold badges Paul George also has an A plus rating but his badges max out at silver so I take this type of information and I match it up with my real world online gaming experience and what sparked the idea to start searching the player cards and see how 2k allocated these badges amongst today's players is because I personally maxed out interceptor at Hall of Fame and I didn't notice much of a difference with this idea and concept in mind that allowed speculation that we may be putting way too many attributes into our lockdown builds if you're a player like me when you're creating your build you like to meet certain thresholds to unlock a particular badge if 2k has limited certain hall of fame badges then maybe you guys when you're creating your builds you can meet thresholds to max out at gold because as you guys see on screen today's best defenders max out at the gold level smarts only badge at hall of fame is the workhorse badge and that's a badge that you guys can equip at the gold level for certain but his best badges are at the gold level interceptor is at bronze and the same goes for bridges maxed out gold badges nothing at the hall of fame level do you guys think 2k made a mistake in regards to perimeter defense i know a lot of you ball handlers out there would be like no they didn't they probably need to even nerf 
Marv steals. And I get that, I feel your pain, I feel for you. My theory is that 2K put a lot more emphasis into your actual attributes because there was so many players that I saw have an A plus rating but their badges didn't match that A plus perimeter defense rating. And aside from my lockdown build, I have another player that I bring out there that doesn't have nearly as many perimeter defensive badges as Interceptor at a lower level and I still play great perimeter defense. So when you guys are creating your lockdown type of builds out there, maybe you don't need to dump so many attribute points into perimeter defense and your steal attribute. Because one main factor that I noticed in NBA 2K23 is that if you're in good position, playing the sweet spot in the passing lane, more often than not, you will get a passing lane steal off of someone throwing a scary. And all those times that you don't get that passing lane steal, even though you feel you were in good position, is not due to the interceptor badge, at least in my experience, I would be in position with my lockdown build, my 6-6 lockdown build, and I would receive very similar animations, whether I had interceptor at the Hall of Fame level or interceptor at like bronze or silver. Hopefully this type of information will help us make builds better, allow us to dump a little more attributes into our offense, saving some attributes on the defensive end. Do you guys run interceptor at Hall of Fame? Sound off in the comments section below let me know if you're going crazy with interceptor on hall of fame i didn't see it i run with a few other lockdowns that felt very similar to the way i feel we also run with players that have a super low steal rating we're talking about like 40 steal rating getting a good four to five steals in the passing lanes per game thank you guys so much for tuning in by the way if you guys are looking for players to run with on nba 2k23 come on out and join our discord we love to have 24,000 members, 24,000 players for you to run with. The link for this quarter will be in the description below. Y'all keep it locked right here at All City Live TV for more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.